Alright, let's get some batteries in here. Who knows, maybe by the end of this episode, I could inspire you. Let's start the show. What's up fam, The Real Rahim is back and I am gonna announce today that it is official as of the 1st February 2022, I am a full-time YouTuber. I'd rather much call myself a content creator, but I guess YouTuber is the common term. I'll take it. Also happening today is Chinese New Year. So also wanna wish all my friends that are celebrating a happy CNY. And may you, me, and everyone have a prosperous new year. Anyways, today is gonna be a talking head episode because I just wanna keep you up to speed on what's been happening since I last left you. That was about like 60, 70 plus days ago, right? And so I mentioned that I am now a full-time YouTuber. What that means is that YouTuber. Legit, I have left my job, left my career of 15 years and I am doing this full time right now. It has given me time to be unleashed, unlocked, whatever you want to call it, right? I'm released and free to be my creative self. And I'm right now going through courses, Parker Wallbacks, um, cinematic course. The course teaches you all you need to know about um, how to be a filmmaker. At the same time, I'm also running Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat is my hero since the start of YouTube. Month-long class, uh, which he teaches how to vlog. You know, I mean, you guys may think that like, how to vlog is such a simple job. No, actually, he has a certain style about him that I've been watching his episodes ever since I started uh, on YouTube and I want to learn more and he has given me this opportunity to learn um, the ropes. Kinda, it feels like him holding my hand and then guiding me through how to make short films. Both of them are my heroes through this YouTube journey. And so um, maybe you could give them some love, have a look at their classes, right? I'll leave a link down in the description. Also coming up in February, I'll be taking my drone theory and drone practical test that um, in order for me to get my drone license. From what I understand about taking the license here in Singapore is that you're gonna need to go through the theory and then um, you will have to go through the practical test. Now, I think it's about like a one hour practical test, but my friends have told me that um, you have two options. You either um, get the two hour extension pre-test so that you can warm yourself up um, or you could go for the classes that some drone schools are offering. On a basic level, I am already competent enough to handle a drone and so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the warm-up class followed by the actual test. Okay, that's happening in February. I'll keep you guys updated uh, probably in a vlog kind of format um, because I believe there are quite a number of pilots in Singapore that do want to take their drone pilot's license and you want to know how the steps are to go about doing that. And so now having gone through the filmmaking courses and also having a drone license, I hope it can make me uh, more valuable more better in the industry because now if you want to do projects that have got to do with drones and you want to apply for permits you'll definitely need a license to accompany those permits so on top of all that um, as i start this journey i realize that i have a lot more free time I mean, i'm not going to waste that time i'm instead going to obviously be doing more content but I have to find a structure. It's about, I guess, structuring the unstructured. And besides designing my own structure, I've also went to get help from Catherine Manning. She's an excellent YouTuber. I saw her from, from below a thousand subscribers. Now she's above 400 plus thousand subs. And what I mean by getting her help is that I got her organizer, which she sells online on her website. I'll leave a link in the description. It's really awesome because it lets me lay out all my ideas and then I can just pick them and group them according to which days I want to uh, post them up. And then I can also organize my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and TikTok upload schedules. I can plan it out. And I at the same time also can know whether at one glance I have, have I scripted them, have I filmed them, edited. It's awesome. Alright, do have a look. So to give you guys an idea of what's coming up, I'm just gonna be showing you what's on my screen right now. Okay, um, besides like DJI FPV ideas, there are also ideas that I have um, with regards to maybe like GoPro settings, uh, my vlog setup, how is it to register a drone in Singapore, especially for foreigners, and also more content for um, DIY FPV. Okay, so why Rahim are you telling us all this? It's because I feel inspired. Um, 
let me just give you in a nutshell of what has been my YouTube journey thus far. Okay, I started years back, 3-4 years back and I have been posting at irregular times. I didn't know what kind of content to make. I just like make videos and put it up on YouTube. Stopped, I've started again, I've given up and then I restart again. 2021 has been very special. Let me just tell you that I started this journey in 2021 with about 300, 400 subscribers, right? That was a growth over a period of maybe two, three years. We're talking about 10 subscribers a month, I'll, if I'm lucky, right? And ever since I started this DJI FPV journey, not only was it about the DJI FPV content, but I learned how to make proper content and how to get my videos out there, right? So the bigger picture for me was about sharing more things, sharing what I know, what I knew from the FPV community and bringing it into the DJI FPV community. So um, that's at the same time where I saw value as to what I was sharing, and that got me moving forward, right? Um, as you can see, yeah, my subscriber count is growing, and I know it's not much, but it is a lot to me it means a lot we're talking about 300 subs in about a span of three years and 2000 plus subs in a span of one year so i've seen that growth and i do want to make this channel bigger than it is to be frank i have not received any form of paycheck yet at all uh, because i just recently got monetized i'm very proud of that by the way for those that want to start your own youtube channel you gotta hit 1000 subscribers first and then at the same time you will want to clock also 4000 watch hours all right that's not minutes uh, 4000 watch hours in a year you gotta maintain that so i'm at a healthy range right now i'm clocking in at about 9000 plus hours i think per year so i want to make more content and i'm happy to do so because years back i saw uh, an episode from Casey Neistat where he interviewed one another one of my heroes, right? Tony Hawk. Yeah, I mean, you guys will know Tony Hawk from Tony Hawk Pro Skater Games, right? But I knew him as a skater because I was into skateboarding last time. So, um, growing up in that era and having seen your hero do the one thing that he loves, skateboarding, and he's made a, 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 a career out of it, he's successful. That's his success. And he also paints the picture that, well, you gotta find purpose. If you're doing something that you love in life, then I think that's enough. If that's, if that's your purpose and you love what you're doing, money money is important, but it will come later. Okay, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm just a talking head to you right now and I'm just sharing my opinions on that. It is not something that I just decided yesterday. It has been a, a year or two in planning and obviously also through having a day job, I've saved up and I'm. it's gonna help me to buffer through the years ahead. So yeah, I'm, I'm hyped. I'm hyped for this journey that I have ahead of me and I'm also glad that I have 2,670 of you guys following me through this journey and I hope to see more. Join and if you're new to the channel, well, this is The Real Rahim. Do subscribe down below and look on your left hand corner right now wrong right hand left hand that corner this corner right the other uh, left hand check that out yeah a lot of new things going on about this journey that i'm really excited about i just want to keep going so anyways i'm gonna wrap up this episode right here now if you've liked this video do give me a thumbs up you'll really support this channel you will youtube will do its algorithm thing and then get my video out there um subscribe if you've not already now do leave me a comment i'll chat with you in the comment section or i'm also now on instagram find me on the instagram handle the real rahim and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen pilots as always i'll see you in the skies peace um happy new year